Coming up, more amazing transformations. It's pretty hot, isn't it? Oh, hey. You look awesome, mate. You get the chicks now, aren't you? <laughs> and one-way reunions. You're the love of my life. And then... A good old-fashioned five-way tug of war. Headspace. Headspace. King Richard has a plan. Robin, you got our back? Yes. Go! With a game-changing advantage ah. up the grabs. Ah. Who will be collateral damage? At the end of the day, it's about self-preservation. Don't give up! Keep going! Oh, my leg! Oh! Jesus Christ, woman! Makeover is really important because it's the first time other contestants get to appreciate just how much they've changed. Oh, my God. Now that everybody's been transformed, it's now time to walk the catwalk and strut their stuff. To see a woman like Janet, she's 52, walking down the catwalk, and for the first time, she feels beautiful. Vavum! OK, well, let's do it. Your beautiful daughter, Kirsten. I'm absolutely disgusted. <laughs> I see you the most unattractive, ugly person. I think, how can my friends want to go out with me and be around me? I think, how can my boyfriend love me? <laughs> I want to feel beautiful. Amazing to be confident again. It's been so long. It's almost like it's been just trapped inside and now it's just exploded out. I feel so sexy right now. <laughs> Vavum! <laughs> the two of you have dangerous curves. It obviously uh, is hereditary. I never look this classy. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, can you share with us how much weight you've lost? Mm. 19 kilos exactly. <laughs> and roll 26.6. What was your relationship with your mum like, bef you know, when we had these photographs taken back on day one? It was pretty much not non existent. I just see. I'm sorry. That's I just see right, a hypocrite. Darling. But now, you know, I've, I've watched your mum train. Yeah, she works hard. Yes, yeah, she does. She's been, what I would say, an amazing role model to you. Oh, for sure. She's not a hypocrite anymore. <laughs> One more surprise. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. I think my family was shocked in how he looked. My boyfriend Liam just kept staring at me and checking out my butt. I'm like, OK, this is weird. Like, he's never looked at me like that before. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> now, I don't want to say this in front of the parents, but damn, you've got a hot door. <laughs> right now. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've done well. But she can now see how I've always seen her and feel how good she'll feel in herself. She's, she's absolutely gorgeous and... So sweet. Don't do anything in haste, though. <laughs> so, Robert, check it out. What do you think? Fantastic. She looks fantastic. I mean, she's always had beautiful eyes and uh, <laughs> I think certainly that, that life's back in her eyes, that's for sure. I just see an amazing future for our family and, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to catch up for all the lost years. I am 
absolutely so excited to start a new life with my family. OK, our next couple this evening, they've done amazingly well and we're on top of the leaderboard. They've had their makeovers last week. As the competition leaders, Gerald and Todd earned their makeover a week early and it blew everybody at The Biggest Loser away. There was no way that I was going to have them miss out on their chance to walk down that catwalk tonight. They've had a tough life, but since coming to The Biggest Loser, they've earned everybody's respect. I'd like to introduce you to Gerald. You only have to look at me, you know? I've got a stomach as big as four people. I need to lose this weight to stay alive, to look after my family. Now, since coming to The Biggest Loser, how much weight have you lost? 41 kilos. 41 kilos. <laughs> how much have you sacrificed to get to the point you are now from that guy that we saw on the screen? I don't look at it as sacrificing. I look at it as just put my head down and just did it. You know? Come on, mate. You're downplaying it. You're being modest. Tell everybody the pain that you've worked through on a daily basis. Oh, look, no, there's always pain every day. All those things don't matter. You, you just look forward every, you know, you get up the next morning and just start again. You don't worry about that. I really respect the man that Gerald is today. He's going to be inspiration to the whole of our nation. You want to meet his son? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. He's 15 years old. The youngest competitor we've ever had on The Biggest Loser. And no matter what he's doing, there's always a childish <laughs> spark and an annoying grin coming back at us. <laughs> I introduce to you, Gerald's son, Todd. Still to come, more amazing transformations. I literally felt like Beyonce at the Super Bowl. And later... Go! Go! A tense tug of war. Get up! Oh, my leg! Hey, it's a game. You're cooking dinner. Well, you can get stuffed and cook your own dinners. Boom. Chica Rocker just blew up. <laughs> I introduce to you Gerald's son, Todd. I get picked on heaps at school. And then I come home and eat and eat and eat. I don't even know who I am anymore. It's shocking. It's really shocking. The cab walk was awesome. Yeah, I was walking down that stage like I was owning it, so it was really fun. How good does this kid look? Now, Todd, on day one, you weighed how much? Uh, 112.2. 112.2 kilos at 15 years of age. And you've lost how much? 27.9. All but 30 kilos. <laughs> what was life like at 15 years of age and over 110 kilos, mate? Going to school, getting teas, coming home and comfort eating, that was basically my life. So coming here with your dad, you've changed that entirely? Yep, changed to heaps. Now you got to see Sophie and your mum during the week? Yep. But there's one person that you haven't seen for a while that you need to have a chat to. Oh, hey, Joe, come here, come here. Oh, you're looking good, <laughs> aren't you? That's someone I want you to see. I looked to the right and I could see my old self saying, hey, Todd, over here, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> hey, heads up if you think Todd's got the muscles here. <laughs> okay? Heads up if you think Todd should be a model. <laughs> You'll get the chicks now, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, ladies? <laughs> it's 
the last time you're going to see me, buddy. So good luck and keep going at it. All right, see you, buddy. <laughs> You remember that bloke? Yeah, bad memories. Are you looking forward to going home looking like this? Yeah, looking like this is going to be awesome. Like, my life has changed. I've basically won it already, so it's awesome. What about your dad here? How good's he done, mate? Oh, he is awesome. He's always there for me. You proud of him? Very proud of him, yeah. You proud of your son? I am, very much so. Gerald and Todd are proof that you can change your life stop generational obesity and rewrite the future of your family's health. All right, all right. Now, our next mother and son couple, when I first met them, had had the life squashed out of them. They have come such a long way in just eight weeks. Put your hands together for Mandy. When I look in the mirror, I feel really ashamed at what I see and how much I've let myself go. I can't say there's one thing on me that I could say, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. What a transformation. Have a look at this. Now, how much different are you than this young lady that walked in on day one? Uh, totally different. I was a frumpy old mum. And now? I'm, I'm a work in progress. I've still got a way to go. Far out, you're modest. She's an extreme <laughs> sportswoman. Tell me how your experience has been. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, things I've done would, I would never have dreamed of doing from that first day when, you know, we did the cliff jump. You've got to trust me. Come here. You've got to trust me. Do you want to be a role model to your son or you want to stay here on the cliff for the rest of your life? Yeah. Your primary reason for coming on this show yep. was your son, Brett. Yeah, he asked me if I would do it with him. Right. And it's the best thing I've ever done. The best thing you've ever yeah. done, hey? Huh? What about that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, guys. The man that you're about to meet is going to blow your mind. He's got this far in his journey with more courage than most I've ever seen. His transformation's made even better because halfway through, he fractured his wrist. Guys, I'd like you to make welcome the amazing Brett. Brett, you weigh 187.9 kilos. Oh, I'm not happy one little bit. Not even close to it. Last time I was happy would have been when I was about 12. What kind of video they some soft get like this? Walking down the catwalk was just intense. There's definitely nowhere to hide, but yeah, it was an experience and a half. Tell everybody how much weight you've lost. Uh, 45.1 kilos. Tell me, mate, how good does mum look? Oh, she looks amazing. Hey? Absolutely Seriously. amazing, yeah. I just want to thank you for everything because uh, she's the one that agreed to come with me, so. Yeah, everything. Uh, I know she came here for me, but I'm glad she's here for herself now. Mum and I always had a good relationship, but I just wanted to say thank you, because she's the only reason I'm here, really. All right, so, you thought I'd run out of surprises. Turning around and seeing my dad's sister and Zeb rock up was uh, unexpected. Tell me, mate, how good does your wife look? Well, you've done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Top job. And I think there's one thing Brett needs to hear is just how proud you are of him. I've always been proud of him. You don't change the person. You can change the weight, you don't change the person. And you just, you know, you can see inside him. You know him by now. I do, mate. He's a top bloke. He is. It's all. It's true. <laughs> all right? Believe it. 
knowing he's proud of me and saying it on stage there, uh, it means the world. I'll never forget today. Never forget it. Next, <laughs> a husband and wife reunited. You thought I was coming home and that'd be the end of it. It'll never be the end for you and I. All right, next I'd like to introduce to you a father and daughter duo. They came into this as best friends. And haven't we seen some fireworks between the both of them? So please put your hands together for Richard. Out of shape physically, out of shape probably mentally. I mean, I'm not attracted to myself. Why would my wife be attracted to me? So. We worked really hard to this point, and I wanted to have some fun and just enjoy the, the moment. Everybody, how good does this guy look? <laughs> it's worlds apart from the guy up on that screen. Wouldn't you agree? To date, how much weight have you lost? 31.3. Self and Amber came to The Biggest Loser as best friends. Myself and the other two trainers have seen some fireworks uh, along the way. I'm trying to make you realise that you've got so much more in you. I know! You've put in 80% to 90% effort since you got here. And that's exactly what you do. You walk away every friggin' time. It's been an emotional journey, as you know. Look, along the way, She's learned how to be a daughter, and I've learned how to be a father. All right, it's enough about you. Everyone, please, put your hands together for Amber. I'm Amber, and I'm 20. Um, my promise to myself is to um, find, find the happy person that is hiding within me. I was just so confident. I literally felt like Beyonce at the Super Bowl. That was me. Amber, Amber. Commando. <laughs> Jeez, I take it you're pretty excited. You're happy to be here? Yeah, man, this is so cool. <laughs> Why is it so cool? Because it's just so exciting. Like, look at all these people. I look good. <laughs> How beautiful does your daughter look? Oh. Stop it. Just gorgeous. <laughs> She's my baby and I love her to death. Just so beautiful. Thanks. I've always said that she's beautiful. It doesn't matter what size she is, but, you know, now the, the outer beauty matches the inner beauty. There's yeah. one more surprise up my sleeve. Guys. Next to me. <laughs> oh, it's just so unbelievable. The reception that my wife gave me. I mean, he is a husband and a wife that couldn't talk to each other. Literally could not talk to each other. I don't care about the money, I don't care about the house. I want my life back. I want my husband. <laughs> I want the person that I married back. <laughs> we forgot where we were. I'm, I'm quite sure. Absolutely one of the nicest moments I've had in the years. This is nothing. <laughs> Baby. Thank you. Thank right. you. <laughs> Me back my husband. Hello. 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 He's pretty hot, isn't he? Oh, hey. 
Richard, how does it feel to have your wife in your arms? Oh, she's my world. She is my absolute world. <laughs> we were lost. We were broken. You thought I was coming home and that'd be the end of it. It'll never be the end for you and I. I don't exist without you, Bert. You know that. You're the love of my life. And you've got to know that in your heart. And all the broken things, one at a time, we'll fix and we'll put back together. Because we're a family. And families do that. Amber, how good is it to hear your parents talking like this? Obviously, we want our parents to be together and be happy, and you know, like Dad says, there's a lot to fix, but I think us being here and changing is the first step. It definitely feels like we're a family now for the first time in a very long time. This is literally one of the best days of my life, and it's one that I'll never, ever forget. As our contestants walk down the catwalk, to wolf whistles and cheers and clapping. You could just see their faces thinking, I'm not the one that people look at. I'm not the one that people cheer. It's got to be a dream. But it's real, and it's so exciting to see. Next. A good old fashioned five way tug of war. Tantrums. Janet could head space or kick you in the ass. And. Treachery. Not much we can do when we fight against them all. I don't care who goes home as long as it's not us, to be quite honest. Isometrics. It may sound complicated, but it's a simple and very powerful form of exercise for strength and muscle tone. And you can very simply add it to your morning routine. Lying face down, raise yourself onto your elbows, keeping them directly below your shoulders, hands together. Feet slightly apart, Toes on the ground. Now raise yourself up. Keep the body straight through the legs, back and neck. Suck up your abdominals, hold for 30 seconds, and gently lower yourself down. And once you've finished your morning routine, go and get yourself a good breakfast. It's challenge day, time to leave the biggest loser house. I wonder what Haley's got in store today. Will we all come back? Adventure! Challenge day means adventure. I can only imagine what this is going to be. We're at an equestrian park. I'm thinking it could have something to do with horses. Hello, handsome and pretty contestants. <laughs> Welcome to today's challenge. A good old-fashioned five-way tug of war. We're the smallest team in the house against people like Brett and Todd and Jezza. We really don't have any strength at all. Each team will be harnessed and attached to a chain. The objective is to pull, drag or crawl your way through the sand to reach a paddle. The first team to grab hold of their paddle will win the round and the first team to retrieve both their paddles will win the challenge. The winning team will pocket a half kilo weight advantage for the weigh-in. But it doesn't end there. Because today's challenge is not just about winning, it's about not coming last. Once a team has retrieved their two paddles, they will be safe and removed from the pit. We'll continue until there's one team left the losing team will be hit with a half kilo weight penalty. 500 grams is a lot of weight at this stage. We were only safe by 100 grams last week. 500 grams, it could mean staying or going. OK, contestants, the first team to retrieve a paddle will win the round. Best of luck. We're hooked up to the harness. We're looking intently at the paddles, just thinking, we've got to get the paddle, we've got to get the paddle, we've got to get the paddle. Take your marks. Set. Go. Go. Oh, shit. 
the other four teams must have been thinking what we were thinking. <laughs> because we all went clunk <laughs> and nobody went anywhere. <laughs> I felt that I was being pulled in every direction. You try to pull against it, you just can't move. I'm going down on my knees. I'll push the legs forward. It's all right, dig in. Dig in. You'd get a good position, but then someone would just tug and you'd just go flying back. It was really hard. Come on, Mum. Strategy today, get as low to the ground as possible. Well, for me, it was actually more about staying upright and on my legs. Turn around and go backwards again. Turn around, lean forward. Turn around and pull it with me. Turn around, lean no, forward. No, this is the way. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. No, Mum, get on back. So we're going to be here all day. We're going to be there all day, basically. <laughs> stay there, Todd, stay there. Don't try. Just, just keep your heels down. <laughs> Our technique today was just to dig your legs and hands into the ground and just stay there. Then you wait till they rest and then bang, you hit. Go, one slow. That's Green team, congratulations. That's one paddle to you. One more, and you've won the challenge. The only one you're going to get. We got our first paddle. Now all we need is one more, and then we've got a half kilo weight advantage for the weigh-in. They were letting us do all the pulling. They waited till we got weak. At the end of the first round when Green team won, uh, I was thinking not to let them get the second paddle. Rob. Robin, you got our back? Yes. Well, hey, we're giving it to you. Ready? No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. All of a sudden, we saw Richard saying to the orange team, we've got your back. Pink team on their own. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Just don't come last. God, this negative over here. You're going to give him the title of the biggest loser as well? No. no. Exactly, we're not. Trust me what I'm doing. No. Nope. I'm giving it to him. I was annoyed. I was like, no, we're not. I just really wanted to win, so. Dad wasn't throwing in the towel. Dad was thinking outside the square. Get your legs ready. On your marks. Set. Go. <laughs> I just didn't want to give up that easily. <laughs> But, you know, once I realised how hard it was going to be, I just flipped a switch and I said, just give it to them. Right. Let them get it, let them get it, let them get it. Amber didn't have the strength, in other words. She realised well, that in the second round. We didn't have the strength. Well, we didn't have the strength, yeah. Go. Go. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, my leg. Oh. Got it! Got it! We got one of them. We got one of them. Orange team, congratulations. That's one paddle to you as well. You only need one more paddle to win the challenge. Blue helping us. Really cemented the friendship. It cemented everything that we'd had going on in the house. Like, now we know that we can definitely trust Blue for the rest of this competition. I've just hurt my hip. My leg got caught in the chain as we got pulled, so it was quite painful. But you just try and do what you can, and I never thought about giving up. Katie, which way? This way? There's only one more paddle to go for us. If we can win the next pool, we've, we've won the challenge. Let them have it. If they get two, it's um, half a kilo to them. All we do is don't come last. He's giving it to us. You ready? On your marks, set, go! Go this way, go this way. Bring it back. Come on. All of a sudden, I see the green team helping the grey team, and I nearly fell over. 
In the second round, we could see that Mandy hurt herself, so we decided to give him a bit of a hand and help him out. You can use your knees. You can use your knees, mate. Up, up, Brett. The game really turned on its head. Bring on the gameplay. Yeah, giddy up. Come on, guys. Come on. That's it. Come on, guys. Get it. Come on, Brett. Come on, oh, Brett. In the second round, we could see that Mandy hurt herself. Oh, my leg. Oh. So we decided to give him a bit of a hand and help him out. <laughs> Go ahead and get us back. Come on, Brett. Get down low. Go use your knees, Brett. Use your knees. Go use your knees, mate. Up, up, Brett. We're just standing there doing nothing one stage, trying to let Grey team take it over, but Richard was a bit too strong for the Grey team. At this point, it's orange and blue versus grey and green, and then pink team. They're sort of like, I don't know, the Switzerland in all of this. <laughs> They've got it. Don't give up. Keep going. <sighs> Jesus Christ, woman. <laughs> come this way. Go, Janet, come pull. this way. Come, come, come this way. Richard called us over and, you know, it was our best shot at at least getting one paddle. So, you know, we decided to go with it. Oh, Mum, this way, this way, Mum, this way. Oh, get up. Oh, get up. This way. Get up. Push me. Richard needed to recruit the pinks to have a chance. Get it. Get there. Get there. Get it. Yes! 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 Thanks. Well, it looks like there's a few tactics at play, but congratulations goes to our orange team. You are the winners of today's challenge. Well done. With the blue team's help, we've got our second paddle and won the challenge. Half kilo weight advantage to us. It's nice to have friends. <laughs> all three of them go that way? Oh, yeah. Jan as well? Yeah. Not much we can do when we're fighting against them all. Come on. Hey, it's a game. You're cooking dinner. <laughs> oh, you can get stuff and cook your own dinners. <sighs> Boom. Chica Rocker just blew up. <laughs> <laughs> We've got all you guys against us. Welcome to the game, Todd. Welcome to the game. We are now down to four teams. Green team, you're out in front with one paddle retrieved. Everyone else is level. What I might ask you to do is help us get both ours now because you guys will beat either of them. Brett's got his mum that's struggling with knees. So, you know, um, we, wanted to help we just out. wanted to help him out. On your marks, set, go. Come on, guys. Come. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Got it. Gray finally get their first paddle, and it's all thanks to the green team. Thanks, Jess. Congratulations, Grey team. That's now two paddles. You're safe, so you can unchain. Well done. Not having the disadvantage is great. Yeah. I mean, going into this, we knew second, third, and fourth meant nothing. Only first and last actually matter. You got this. You've got it. I know you've got it. Headspace. Headspace. Sick of this right now? Yeah. I've gone right here. I'm here doing it. Mum just came across as being already defeated and it was really frustrating me. I don't know. I thought it was going to... Janet, you could have space. I'll kick you in the eye. Yeah. Right. We're now down to a three-way tug of war. Pink, green and light blue. One of you will walk away with a half kilo weight penalty. Make sure it's not you. I think out of all the teams, a half kilo disadvantage for Mum and I right now would mean a lot. OK, we'll go you guys we'll first, then us, yeah. then we'll get it again, then you guys. The plan was we help Blue, they help us, they help us again, and then they'd be up against Green. Ready, set, go! 
We knew that me and Dad wouldn't have enough muscle to keep it going because it's torn to one. Go, go, go! Yes! Pull it back. Go. Get it in. Yes! Boom! Woo! The second I grabbed that flag, I threw it and I was like, yes, we've got the friggin' flag. Same again your way, OK? We knew Richard was going to be so cunning to allow Janet to be last. No matter what way it goes, We've, no matter what way it goes, we've got you back. Janet, Janet, don't listen to him, girl. You're going to be last. You will be last. Jez, it's a game, mate. There's no need for meanness. I don't care who goes home as long as it's not us, to be quite honest. I didn't come here to come second or third. Now we've got two options. We go to pink now, which we're going to, and then we can... Yeah, well, we go to pink now, and then we just go for us. OK, for this round, we now have green and blue with only one paddle. I think you've got a bit of work to do. The plan was we help blue, they help us, they help us again, and then they'd be up against green. Go! They're helping them. They're helping them. Team, it looks like the blue team's returned the favour. That's now one paddle to you. Jesus, low, isn't it? Every muscle in my body hurts. You know, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. Yeah, I was pretty exhausted, <laughs> I'd say. Pink, green and light blue, you're now all even on one paddle. This is going to get very interesting. Richard? You run to pink, let them get it, because you can beat them. There was no way I was getting that disadvantage. You guys help us out and get one. Look, at the end of the day, it's about self-preservation. We looked after ourselves. End of story. Are you going to tell them? No. Janet, we've got them on our side. Just pull. On your marks, set, go. What's happened? Because I thought they were getting killed first. I looked around and the green team were actually getting very close to their paddle. I looked up and I said, Kirsten, maybe we go around and try and hold them back this way. Over here, over here, over here. Put your legs in. Put your legs in. Put your legs in. That's it. I'm not going to go around a little bit. Listen. Go on. We went around and I said, hold it, hold it, Richard, hold it. <laughs> and he went on to pick up the paddle. I'm like, yep. Janet, Kirsten, you can beat them. You can beat them. I know you can beat them. Well, congratulations, blue team. With a little help from your pink team, you are now safe. You can now exit the pit. Well done. It was amazing to be safe from that half kilo disadvantage. I whipped off my harness and I was like, yes! Can't bring me down, disadvantage. <gasps> what happened? I thought it was coming out here. We were absolutely, without a doubt, used by Richard and Amber. Up until the last minute, I thought they were yeah. coming over here. So did and, I. And with Jez in the background saying you set up, well, it was a classic. I was just angry that we had been used like that. We had been used to set everyone else up. And I, yeah, naive again. Just think of how close it is. I'm pissed off. The plan was changed. It wasn't changed. Yes, it was. <laughs> We're now down to a good old fashioned two way tug of war. Pink team against the green team. I think the pink team is about to be rolled backwards at 200 miles an hour. Janet, look at me. Janet. Down like this. Get your foot in the, in the dirt. Down lower. They're going down. Don't even think about the pain. But we'll still encourage the pink team to give it their best shot. 
Take your marks. Set. Go! 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 Come on! Come on, Joe! Get up, Percy! Get up! It's done, Janet. Congratulations, green team. Pink team, unfortunately, you are the losers of this challenge. You have a half kilogram weight penalty going into the weigh-in. You know, <laughs> it was all over before it began because of mum. <laughs> it wasn't hard at all to pull against the pinks. We smashed it. Well, it took, what, three seconds? In actual fact, we pulled back on it because I told Todd not to hurt him. I'm going to punch her in the face. I'm so sick of her. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. She just really frustrated me. She just had that negative headspace from the start. I'm pissed off at yeah, She did her best. I'm pissed off at No, mom. no, she, they, they ripped her out of her she legs. She had a shit headspace from the start. They from ripped the her start, out of her legs. She was like, okay. okay. Yeah, no, it's I can't trust anybody. It's only a game. Yeah. It's only a game. I've just learnt okay. I can't trust anybody. There is no alliance. She didn't take my advice. So she's wearing a, you know, a 500 gram disadvantage. I meant it when I said, welcome to the Alliance. I don't know, man. I don't know who to trust. Look, at the end of the day, it's about self-preservation. We looked after ourselves. End of story. But we didn't do it in a conniving way. No.